Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to find matrix inverse by adjoint method. But not only that, you will also learn how to find determinant of a matrix, how to find adjoint of a matrix, how to find the cofactor matrix, how to find transpose of a matrix, the meaning of determinant in this video. So let's start. This is our original matrix A. We have to find out inverse of it. So first we have to find out determinant of matrix A that is given by DTA equals to this number into this number into this number minus this number into this number. So that is 10 into 6 into 2 minus 3 into 9. So next put a minus sign and write this number. So that is minus 5 into this number into this number minus this number into this number. So that is minus 5 into 3 into 2 minus 7 into 9. Next put a plus sign and write this number. So that is plus 3 into this number into this number minus this number into this number. So that is plus 3 into 3 into 3 minus 7 into 6. Adding all this you will get plus 36. So the rule is first put a plus sign, next minus, next plus, next minus and so on. That is alternating order of plus and minus. So we have got our determinant that is plus 36. Determinant helps us determine whether the matrix is invertible or not. Determinant is the real number, it can be positive or negative, but it must not be 0 to get the matrix inverse. If the determinant is equal to 0, the matrix is not invertible. That means we can't find out inverse of that matrix whose determinant is equal to 0. So in our case, since determinant A is not equal to 0, the matrix is invertible. Next we will find out adjoint of matrix A, which is very easy. You may know this is called row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3 and this is column 1, this is column 2 and this is column 3. So to find out the adjoint A, first write to matrix brackets and then write plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus and plus. That is alternating order of plus and minus and write empty brackets. And inside the empty brackets, we will find out and write the individual cofactor values. So the cofactor value for this element is given by, first we will calculate all the values in row 1. For that, we will guard or cover our row 1 in matrix A. Next, for this value, which lies in column 1, we will also guard the column 1. So we are left with 6 into 2 minus 3 into 9 that is 12 minus 27 that is minus 15. Next for this value which lies in column 2 we will guard the column 2 in matrix A. So we are left with 3 into 2 that is 6 minus 7 into 9 that is minus 63 that is minus 57. Next for this value which lies in column 3 we will guard the column 3. So we are left with 3 into 3 that is 9 minus 7 into 6 that is minus 42 that is minus 33. Next we will calculate the row 2 values. For that we will guard the row 2 in our original matrix. Next for this value which lies in column 1 same process guard the column 1. So we are left with 5 into 2 10 minus 3 into 3 9 that is plus 1. Next for this value which is in column 2, guard the column 2. So 10 into 2, 20 minus 7 into 3 minus 21 that is minus 1. And for this value which is in column 3, guard the column 3, we are left with 10 into 3, 30 minus 7 into 5, 35 that is minus 5. So next we will simplify the plus and minus sign. So plus into minus 15 that is minus 15 
minus into minus 57 that is plus 57 plus into minus 33 that is minus 33 simplifying all of them you will get this matrix this is our cofactor matrix next we will find out the transpose of this matrix this t represents the transpose the meaning of transpose is writing rows as columns and columns as rows so in our row 1 from left to right the numbers are minus 15 plus 57 minus 33 so write row 1 as column 1 in transpose matrix so it will be minus 15 plus 57 minus 33 next row 2 is minus 1 minus 1 and 5 so writing it vertically minus 1 minus 1 5 next row 3 is plus 27 minus 81 plus 45 writing it vertically plus 27 minus 81 plus 45 so we will get our transpose matrix and this transpose matrix is our actual adjoint matrix this matrix is called the cofactor matrix and this is our adjoint matrix next matrix inverse or a inverse is given by adjoint a divided by determinant of a so this can be written as 1 into determinant a into adjoint a so determinant was 36 so 1 divided by 36 into our adjoint a matrix so simplifying this we will divide all the elements by 36 so minus 15 divided by 36 is minus 5 by 12 by dividing minus 15 by 3 we will get minus 5 and 36 by 3 we will get plus 12 similarly minus 1 divided by 36 is minus 1 by 36 plus 27 divided by 36 is 3 by 4 because dividing 27 by 9 you will get 3 and dividing 36 by 9 you will get 4 so continuing the process for each of the elements you will get our actual a inverse or inverse of matrix a this is our required answer so this was my video on how to find inverse of a matrix by adjoint method how was the video let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my youtube channel by subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me when i upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe and please share this video among your friends and family because knowledge is meant to be shared i have another video to find out matrix inverse by gauss jordan method you can watch the video on my youtube channel just go to the numerical method playlist i have uploaded videos on different topics such as statistics numerical methods business and financial mathematics operation research computer science etc and a series of videos on casio fx and on es and casio fx a to two ms calculators to do maths easily using scientific calculators do you know you can directly find out matrix inverse on casio fx and on es calculator to know how watch my video on that you can get all my videos on my youtube channel the link is www.youtube.com front slash suja 70 so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing